How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome to the Boogeyman. So, this is the third game in a series of four called The Strange Men. We have just recently, as of last night, or yesterday, depending on when you're watching this, completed the Sandman in and out, front and back. And I got so into it that I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to wait for the next one. Plus, the next thing I'm going to play, I can't play yet anyway, so. <laughs> Welcome to the Boogeyman. We're going to get into it right now. Voice. Select a setting for in-game voice acting. Can be ch What? I'm very curious. I want to hear it. Play with full voice acting? Yes. You can change the setting. Okay. Really? They went as far as voice acting this time. This is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content. So refrain from playing if you feel you can't handle it. Okay, so this is the same as the other ones. Don't repurpose like what's been used. Uh, give the creators... Um, you know, credibility, show the credits at the end, in other words, or at least at the end of the main campaign. Yeah, stuff like that. And no redistribution of the game files. I don't plan on doing any of this. Let's get into the game. Hello? Uh, your phone. Your phone's ringing. Uh huh. I I answered. Are you asleep? No, I don't. I don't. Ow! Nope. No, I'm not. Uh. No, no. I was just thinking. Okay, Keith. About what, sir? Am I Keith or Eric? How's the suspect doing? Huh? Still not out yet. It's been three hours, so I'm sure he'll be here soon. But man. Uh. What? Oh, jeez. Really not gonna answer? I'll call back later. Oh, okay then. Rude. Man, Keith, do you ever answer your calls? Anderson was groaning about it, you know, wondering what's even the point in calling you. Fair question. Ah, sir, he's coming out. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? What? He's got a woman behind him. I think she came in after. You think she's with him? This isn't good. Won't be able to arrest a guy like this. <laughs> Let's go. Tell squad B and C. We'll get him in that alley up ahead. Hold on a second, sir. She might be a civilian. We should really wait until he's alone. How dumb are you? And are you going to take responsibility if he kills her? Come on. Okay, well, we're out of a car now. Gonna assume... What was that? I heard that gunshot. What was that? Police tyranny strikes again. The cold, ruthless detective shoots down yet another criminal. Civilian woman forever traumatized. We tried to ask Keith Baring, the detective responsible, to shed us some more light. But he stood at the station entrance, smoking a cigarette, and told us this. Of course. The visitor's entrance is that way. Wow. Seems that he sees truth seekers like us as unwanted guests. Why do I feel like this isn't gonna go well? Well, what do you know? Doesn't say a word about the criminal, nor that the woman was a prostitute, or how we took some injuries of our own in the gunfight. 
Reporters, am I right? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate to the stereotypes. I can read gossip myself. I need you reading it out Gee, loud. You're a real hit with these guys. This is the fourth article by my count. I'm jealous. Just tell me what you called me in for. Okay, there it is. I've got good news. I'm giving you a vacation. A month, in fact. What for? <laughs> Not a chance. There's no time to rest. There's too much I need to do. You've got a good lackey, right? Leave it to him. And stretch your wings a bit. Oh, okay. Dick, I'm telling you, there's no way. I'm ordering you as your superior. If you don't want to travel, consider it house arrest instead. <laughs> okay. You aren't fit to bear the brunt of the media. I can handle the rest real well. So, go on, take a break from the crime scene. Hey, but I didn't say you have to twirl your thumbs at home for a month, right? Here's a little present. Huh? There's this old castle they're promoting as a tourist spot. There's a sort of test run tour two weeks from now. Uh, uh, uh okay. Truth is, me and the wife were gonna go, but I say you do it. How many years has it been for you two? Helena will be ecstatic. Who no, is that my put wife? Down the gun and the notebook. We'll need them on vacation, right? Okay, fair enough. I don't know if this vacation is a Go good thing today. or a bad I thing. Over your work tomorrow. But just one thing. Ah, oh, God. Enough of the blaring music. You can hear him in the hallway. Ten minutes later, resume blaring music. Hi. Welcome home. How was work? Same as usual, apparently. You look tired. Are you all right? Ah. Uh, I'm fine. I mean, I guess. Oh, yes. I get a fantastic present for Mr. Anderson's wife. Look at these, honey. Two invitations. A three day stay at an old castle. Won't that be wonderful? Aww. He better not decline this. Dick already told me. He gave me some time off for it, too. Oh, okay, so that's well, why. Well, if you aren't too tired, I'd like to go myself. What do you think? I mean, why not? If you're going, then I'm going. I'll tell our travel agent. Okay. Thanks, honey. Aww. I can't wait. Aww. I've got some work to take care of. Go to bed without me. Good night. Wow. We got a workaholic here. Good night. I, I, I don't know if that was a good good night or a bad good night. Uh, Helena, that's not going to bed. That's following me. Or is it daytime? I don't know. I, I've got hiccups. This is normal. Hey, did you know I'm on vacation? How about you? Did you, did, are you all not going to listen to me or something? <sighs> ah, the bearings? I've been waiting for you. I'm Stevie Small, the tour conductor. I'll be your guide for this tour. Why did you listen to me and the rest of them are just like, Bruh. Thanks. Now that you two are here, all the attendees are present. Please come aboard. We'll be leaving in roughly 30 minutes. Okay. What does this have to do with the boogeyman? What a ship! 
The five hour trip to the island should go by in no time. Okay. I'm going to go introduce myself to the others. What about you? I'll head out later. You go with him. Okay. Alright. Um, I think you're making her sad, Keith. Oh, I'm playing. Okay. Traveling bag. Okay. Refrigerator. Bottles of brandy. Why am I drinking brandy? I have no idea. Bathroom. Double bed. Life preserver. And a window. And I guess we're... D don't just swing the door open like that. Be more careful. Sorry. Are you... Are you Sophie? Try looking where you're going before you start yelling at people, young lady. Is this Sophie? Maybe you should look where you're going yourself, old man. Oh, God. Yeah, that has to be Sophie. <laughs> Nasty tongue on you, huh? And anybody who missed the videos for this, Sophie is the main ant the main protagonist in um, The Sandman, the game that takes place previous to this one, but after The Crooked Man. You bet. I was born with it. <laughs> yeah, that's Sophie. <laughs> Hey now, Sophie, what are you doing? Call it. Call it. This guy almost swung the door right into my face, Papa. <laughs> you said something rude to him, didn't you? Come now, apologize. Oh my god. But, Papa... Uh-huh. Sophie? I'm sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Old man. <laughs> Come on, Papa. Let's get some ice cream at the lounge. <sighs> My apologies for that. That's fine. Is she your daughter? No, really. Yes, she's my one and only precious. Full of energy, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. She's very excited for the trip today. I'm glad we could go. Excitement is one thing, but you try to get her to stop yelling at people over a little near collision. If she talked to the wrong guy, it could be trouble. That's fair. <laughs> You're very right, but I think it's much better than keeping all her dissatisfaction to herself. You have no idea how accurate that is. I'm Richard Grundler. That was my daughter, Sophie. Glad to meet you. You too, Richard. Keith Berry. Did you come alone? No. No, with my wife. Oh, wonderful. I hope we both have a great trip. Well, excuse me. That was very polite. What, no achievement called the Sandman? In the Sandman game, you got an achievement when you first ran into David. The Crooked Man. Guest room, guest room. I'm assuming I can't go in any of these except my own. So this is mine. Guest room, and their room. I'm assuming. Yeah. Um. Where is my what? That's the crooked man's fiance. Where's David? Where is David? Hi. Keith, this is Shirley. Keith, nice to meet you. I'm Shirley Weber. Same. Wow, Shirley sounds really mature. Um, I mean, makes sense for what kind of character she's given. She came here with her husband. Oh yes, where is he now? Okay, they're married by this point. Got it. He told me he went to take a smoke, so he might be up on the deck. Okay, hi, Shirley. What's with the suit? You're on vacation, you know. Yeah, my character apparently is way too serious. Oh, let me guess. You're with the men in black? <laughs> I wish. 
I freaking wish. Sorry, but I don't have sunglasses. Or <laughs> well, you just ruined it then. <laughs> Too bad. Well, let's enjoy our trip, shall we? Okay. Alright, so, hi, David. Okay, I'm not playing at this point. Need a light? Oh, man. His voice almost sounds like mine, too. Thanks. That scares me further. <laughs> Just in case, I, I, I haven't made this clear yet for those who didn't see the playthroughs of the Crooked Man or the Sandman. David's character here is very similar to how I am, to the point where it scared me in the original game, the Crooked Man. And the fact that he sounds like that, which is very similar to how I sound, well, to me at least, that scares me even further. Nice weather today, don't you agree? Nice weather today. I mean, see? Slight sure difference. Is. But still. To tell you the truth, it's my first time traveling on a ship, and it's really exciting for me. I'm just glad it's so nice out. Certainly wouldn't be out smoking on the deck here if it were raining. <laughs> Fair enough. Keith Barrett, detective. Not right now you're not. <laughs> David Hoover, detective, huh? Very cool. I always like to watch those police dramas. Yeah, those aren't realistic, though. But why the suit? Old habits. Never been on a ship except for the job. Fair enough. Did you come alone? How dumb are you? No, I came with my wife. Dude, you we just oh, this was literally just brought up. I was going to invite some friends along, another couple, but the husband ended up in the hospital. Oh. Oh no. Came down with something. He ruined his stomach from eating too many chili dogs. Always been kind of a moron. <laughs> Is this your friend? So I invited another girl and her father. They were always saying they didn't get to go on vacation often. That's fair. The grumblers. Right. They were both really pleased. I'm glad I invited them. Too bad about my friends, though. Yeah. Enjoy yourself in their place, then. <laughs> yep, that's the plan. I don't know if that's the best way to phrase it, though. Keith, I think you're, like, way too serious, man. Come on. An ashtray. And... Oh, another smoke? Want my lighter? No, I'm fine. Oh, oh okay, well, that was a thing. The tea here is delicious. You like tea? Absolutely. What about you? Sorry, I can't stand the stuff. Deuce. <laughs> Keith Barry, who could have guessed I'd be graced by the presence of the tabloid star? Ah, oh, God. Why do I feel like I already regret walking out here? I'm Lance Canal. So what brings you here? Murder on the ship? Oh, shut up. Or are you going to cause one yourself, detective? I already don't like this guy. You have to have a lot of time on your hands to read all those tabloids. Don't say that. These tabloids who rag on you come from the same publisher I work for. That's all it is. Yeah, okay. I'm here to take pictures. Heard there was a new tourist trap opening. They invited me here for publicity. Yeah, I can tell by the sound of your voice. <laughs> Photographer. Don't you worry. I don't take pictures for any of those sleazy magazines. I'm just a photographer for a humble travel magazine. Not like I'm one of those paparazzi guys. I don't believe that. Still, don't have to take pictures to get material. I can make some good money passing things on to my gossip writing colleagues. Um, you better not. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll be watching. 
detective. Ugh. This is not what I signed up for. Excuse. Oh my gosh! Look at the size of that. It's fantastic. Wait, the size of what? What are we looking at? It really is. I can't wait to take a look inside. What? Man, it's like the kind of place would be a murder case on an old cop show. Don't jinx it, David. Oh, stop being such an oddball. <laughs> Don't jinx it, David. Don't. <laughs> oh, I get it. You're telling us we have to camp out in front for this tour. I hope not. That's odd. I'm sure I told him when we'd arrive. Hold on a moment. Wait, what? Um. Hello? It's Stevie from NA Travel. Hello? Brendan, are you there? Okay, they're here. Is everybody ready? Uh. Rachel, your tie's crooked. Fix it. Mitch, your hair's a mess. Oh my gosh. Matt? Your glasses, uh, well, they're still lame. <laughs> right. Time to greet the guests. Okay. Hi. Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting for you. I'm Brendan Dumont, the proprietor of this castle. Stevie, I thought you'd never come. Thanks for leaving them here. And thank you for showing up, Brendan. I was worried you weren't here. Oh, I should introduce the... There's no need, Stevie. I'm already well aware of our guests. Mr. Lance, the Grumblers, Mr. David, and Mrs. Shirley, and last but not least, the Bearings. So you came and sent the Andersons. <laughs> what a delight. Young guy, you take care of this place all by yourself? Yes, that's right. You must be tired from that long boat ride. I'll lead you to your rooms inside. Ah. Uh... It'll be a while until dinner, so make yourself at home. Ah, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Keith, look. The view is so wonderful from here. It's like we're back in Europe. You remember when we went to France and you... Really? Don't answer that, Keith. Shouldn't you answer that? It's Eric, no doubt. I'll call him back later. I wonder what the others are up to. I'll go take a look. Why do I feel like it's not good? What's gonna happen is not good after she leaves. Are you coming, honey? Uh, not right now. Later. Alright. Okay. Um... Not particularly certain how I feel about this. Interesting start to the game, I'll say that much. Um, right now I'm going to leave this video here though. We'll progress through the game, hopefully getting some scares and shenanigans like that next time. But as I said, right now I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. Got any suggestions for any other horror games you'd like me to do on this channel? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any other ones I've done prior to this game, whether it's a predecessor to this game or a different horror game that I've done prior to it? I'll link to that across my head here. This game, once it's got enough videos, will be in the top right hand corner over there. In the meantime, I'm out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!